I wanted to make sure that I came here in person today. Some voters heading to the polls because they didn't get absentee ballots. In your vote 2020, election officials say there's still time to request another one. News 8's Julia Dang is looking into how widespread of a problem this is and how to address it. Well, election officials tell me only a handful of people in Marion County have requested absentee ballots and reported not getting one in the mail. But that's why at least a few people are waiting on this line behind me to vote in person. I'm not sure why I didn't get it, but uh, I've been waiting. Longtime Indianapolis resident Julia Tibbs is waiting on this early voting line after waiting weeks for her absentee ballot. I'm voting in person because I did not get my absentee ballot in the mail. A downtown poll worker who wasn't authorized to speak on camera says she's heard more complaints about missing or delayed absentee ballots this fall than in years past. Russell Hollis with the Marion County Clerk's Office says it's not a widespread issue and shouldn't prevent people from voting. They have plenty of time to have a ballot reissued to them uh, and alternatively they can vote in person. If you haven't received an absentee ballot requested more than two weeks ago, you can go to vote.indy.gov, click on this absentee voting tab and scroll down for a link to this form to request another absentee ballot. You can email, fax or hand deliver the form. You can also make the request by phone or you can do what Tibbs is doing and cast your ballot in person during early voting or on election day. You will need to fill out this affidavit stating you didn't get an absentee ballot. Their votes will be counted. It's unclear if missing or delayed absentee ballots are tied to the record volume of requests. Hollis says it's typically caused by incorrect or new mailing addresses. The majority of voters we talked to today are not affected. They were planning to vote early in person. I'm having surgery later in the month, so just to make sure that there were no complications or anything and didn't want to risk not being able to vote on the third. This is a really important election, so I really want to make sure that um, we get in in time. I just want to make sure I did it this time in person. It was important to me. Again, this does not appear to be a widespread issue. We'll have links to the forms you can fill out to correct the issue on our website. Reporting downtown, Julia Dang, Wish TV and WishTV.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook. Julia, thank you. Wish TV has confirmed Mike Pence and his wife Karen had requested mail-in ballots more than two weeks ago. IT mates Richard Essex broke that story earlier today. The vice president and his wife requested mail-in absentee ballots on September 22nd, weeks before the planned event to come back to Indiana to vote. Now, looking at the application, the vice president had those ballots sent by the Marion County Clerk's Office to a post office box in Washington, D.C. Had he come to vote in Indianapolis today, he would have had to have had those ballots with him. Had the vice president voted in Indianapolis as he was scheduled to do, he would have had to answer questions from the clerk's office about the mail-in ballot he'd already requested. I was told by the Marion County Clerk's Office it is not common for people to change their minds after receiving a mail-in absentee ballot, but it does happen. Prior to this election, Indiana voters were allowed to drop off their ballots at the clerk's office, but that is no longer allowed. Uh, he would have to complete an ABS-5 form, uh, just like other voters who are coming uh, to vote early in person. Uh, but their ballots had to have been, you know, lost, defective, or they spoiled their ballot. Earlier this week, advance teams from the vice president's office and federal law enforcement people spent the better part of two days preparing for his visit. Had he voted in person, there would have been a slight delay for the people waiting in line. If the vice president does come back home to Indiana to vote, he will need to have his absentee ballot in hand. I have reached out to the vice president's office to ask them if Mr. Pence plans to vote by mail or is he coming back to Indiana to vote. Now, yesterday they did say that they are going to reschedule his event, but they haven't said exactly when. In downtown Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.